Dear lovely game design folks, my name is Dennis and I welcome you to this short and quick tutorial on how to get from something that looks odd like this to something that is way, way more tangible. Something like this over here. Um, and today what we're going to talk about is how you can, um, how you need to set up your spreadsheet, how you design your first card in here, and then what kind of plugins you need to make this, all, this whole thing happen. Um, so let's start and jump right into it. So first of all, the things that you need to um, follow this design process is pretty straightforward. You need a Google spreadsheet. You need um, to use the Figma tool and you already see this is a web browser based tool. You can just go to figma.com, um, sign up, it's fairly easy, it doesn't cost a buck, um, and just create your first uh, empty file. And then you're already good to go. The last thing that you need is a plugin for Figma. You can, um, I will put the link as well into the notes. Uh, it's a plugin by Dave Williams, it's called Google Sheet Sync, um, and this will help us bring our Google Sheet information into our Figma file. So let's jump into the a spreadsheet file and see what I did in here. And you see, it's pretty straightforward. You just need uh, your first column with the names um, of the elements and then down below your cards. Um, and, and you can put almost any kind of value in here. You can of course put in text um, or like just number values. You could also add uh, fun, uh, like fun colors <laughs> um, and these are RGB colors, you can Google them if you don't know how they work, but you can put in any kind of colors that you want and this will also get transposed into your card. And the greatest part about it is that you can also add some sort of imagery. And for that you just add a link. In this case I use Unsplash, unsplash.com is a great resource for free images um, that you might use for your game as well. Um, and you see, pretty straightforward. <clears throat> the next thing that we do, we jump into Figma, and in Figma we create an um, empty frame. And it's pretty easy by just clicking and dragging this frame uh, up. In this case, you see I already created one, um, and this frame has a size of 630 by 880 pixels. So it should roughly match um, a magic card in ratio. This is what I'm going for. Um, just for your information what a frame is, a frame is your artboard where you create your design in the end. Now let's see how I jump, how I uh, create my design in here. First of all, I will use a text layer, right? I will put in my, my card name, this is the first thing that I want to do. And you see I used uh, this tool, you can also press uh, the key T on your keyboard um, to create a text element. I will align this in the center so that I can put in the name of my card and you see it's rather um, small. So I will increase that and let's do something like 50 um, pixels. And I could also change the, the font style that I have in here. You can add almost any font that you have on your PC or you can use, I think these are all the um, the Google fonts that are out there, right? So um, you could do something like that in here. You could go even a little bit bigger with that one. See, as easy as it goes. Now um, let's add something like, for example, the um, the number, uh, like the cost of the card. I just put in like an X and make it a little bit smaller in here. Just make it like I don't. Know, 30 or oh, maybe 50. You know what? I don't like that font. Then let's let's decide to go for something totally different. Ah oh, man, this looks awesome. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, so we have already our our numbers in here. You know, you can always like resize everything and <clears throat> already like that we could start to import our spreadsheet informations and I will do this now really quickly and what I need to do is to match the 
column names that we have up here. And we are doing this by uh, going into the, here in our layer list, going into the element and adding um, a hashtag in front of that um, element. And for example, we said this is going to be the cost and costs. Um, and this is already the magic that we need uh, to create our own card. So something that we can now do just to showcase to you is we can go into our plugins and say, okay, um, I want to use the Google Sheets Sync plugin. Um, I need to add the link to the to the file. It will ask me to the to the URL to the file. The thing that you need to do is just go into your share option. Right now here it's in German, so it's sharing up there. Um, you can click that button and you really need to make sure that you um, make it available for everyone to see uh, and to edit. That's why it won't work. Um, so this is something that you need to do. And as soon as you did that, you can simply come in here and you see already, oh great, um, the first column gets put in here pretty quickly. We could do something like that now. Let's see how this works for the colors. I will add, um, in this case, uh, uh, ellipse beh behind my costs element. I will call this cost color because cost color is the name of that element that we want to put in here. Oops, let's add a hashtag in here, right? Bam. And now if I can also like align those elements, if I select those both elements, I can align them up here. You see, ah, it didn't work out as expected, but now it works. Um, and now I can just go in here again and say, okay, plugin, please, dear plugin, run again. Fetch install. And you see, I got the color that I that I put in here, directly in here. And now let's do something. Let's also add the, the art that we have in here. Let's set up a rectangle for, the, for our art. You see, it's pretty, it's pretty quickly. And I will say um, it's just called hashtag art, similar to what we had um, on our spreadsheet. And again, pretty straightforward. Okay. Oh. See, now the art is in that element. Okay, now you have maybe the question, um, how do we bring in now all the cards in here, right? Um, how do we do that? Because there are like nine cards. Do, do I need to do this nine times again? I will show you like um, something that's pretty cool with uh, Figma. And you can create something that is called a component. This is this element up here. You can click it. Now what you do is create a master component, so to say. So this is the element that will um, influence all the instances that you will have in the end. And how do you get one of these instances? Pretty easy. You go into your assets uh, tab and down here you see um, you have an instance. You can just put it in here, right? You can put as many as nine, uh, nine in here because we have nine cards, right? Let's put in like nine cards. Or do we have already the nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one is missing. Right, I just duplicated them. And now when I jump in, select my nine cards that I have and say, hey, come on, go uh, and run the last plugin again. Get me those sweet uh, informations from my, from my uh, spreadsheet. And you see, we'll see all these information will get populated in here. And that's already really great. Not a great thing about having a component in here is as soon as you change something in here, right? If you go into your master element and change something, it will change everywhere else. And this is amazing because now you have the great, like you have the power to quickly iterate on your designs and see what works and what doesn't work, right? So let's change it to white. 
and see if this is already working better. We could do now hundreds and hundreds of things and fiddle around with different kind of borders or frames or create different kind of artworks and just see how this whole thing works um, in the end and how it looks like in the end. Right, and the last thing that I wanted to share with you is now it's super easy um, to use these cards for your print and play or for tabletopia or whatever. You simply um, go to the export file, right? You can even select multiple, all your cards that you created, go to the export tab and just export those as a PNG, right? And since we are working with vectors mostly, you can increase the size to whatever you need and then just um, send that to Tabletopia um, or print this on your printer. This is how quick um, you can create your first card prototype with Figma. So um, now I would like to hear from your side, um, how is your process? Um, is there something that you would add that you are missing in this process, in this design workflow? Let me know in the comments and let me know um, via mail what you think. All the best and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.